let me get it, get it on a Friday. Thank God, little homie, it's Friday. I bet you, if we look at the analytics, it'll say that like one fifth of our audience is divorced. <laughs> Oh, stripped it. <laughs> when righty tidy starts going righty loosey. <laughs> come, come look at engine bay. Come look. Be, go, be gone. What? Be gone. Be whore. gone. Thought. Probably put grass in it. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Get eat Spit off this bad it. boy. Mm. Kevin has a gift for me. And we're about to find out what that gift is. Gotta clean that thing around. We gotta make it look more like a BMW. <laughs> oh Let's start pouring this. What the ashy. fuck? You gotta put some ashy oil on it. The ancient. <laughs> this came out of a 2010 Civic that had a lean on it and they sold it to me with a fake title. Somehow we've ended up in front of the power plant because all the other photo spots that we wanted to go to had cars blocking them. You probably can't see me right now, but we're gonna go find another spot and hopefully get some better shots. Goodbye, Kevin. I would love to get the public's consensus on doing an M2 bumper on an M240. Is that is that too much? Is it too like a badgy of me? Even though I just genuinely like how it looks, I'm not necessarily trying to be an M2. I just like I, how it looks. It's just more aggressive. Let me know in the comments below if that's too, uh, uh, how you say, poser. Yeah, we'll go with poser. Well, tonight's adventure has ended us off in one final spot in the back of some crazy ass industrial warehouse spot. <laughs> I was born in 2001 and something that my generation has just grown up with is YouTube. It's just been part of our lives. I remember as a kid making YouTube videos and spending my time editing, doing just random stuff to get content. I still have all of them on my YouTube channel. They're just all privated right now just because nobody wants to see that anyway. I believe I've created my YouTube channel over 10 years ago now definitely over 10 years ago now, and I've never taken anything in regards to YouTube seriously. Being that my generation has grown up with YouTube, there is different stages of YouTube and the internet. Obviously, anybody who's grown up with it understands like the different segments of YouTube as a whole and its impact on culture along with what does well, what did well, what doesn't do well anymore, and what the current, uh, how you say, meta of YouTube is. Something that's always piqued my interest has got to be the top of the top of YouTube, and that's daily videos, daily uploads, essentially. And I am not in a position right now where long form content I could post on a daily consistent schedule and be able to keep up high quality content as well as manage my life outside of YouTube. That being said, something that's more manageable would be short form content. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I wanna start doing it on TikTok just because I feel like the culture there really is informed with the car scene and is really tuned into what's going on. So for the next 30 days from June 1st to June 30th, I'm gonna upload every single day on TikTok. Now that's not to say I'm gonna stop doing YouTube videos and I won't post on Instagram or YouTube Shorts, obviously, I'm still gonna post there as well. But until June 30th, there is going to be an upload every single day on my TikTok, which is just Parker the Rapper. There's a Cybertruck towing a boat right here. It's pretty sick. This probably isn't meant for BMWs, but we're gonna take this way anyway and hope that it gets us to a good shot. For some reason, the idea of daily vlogging has just always interested me. The ability for someone to dedicate their entire existence to something like YouTube or their business or just the overall grind set that it takes to do something like that has just been really inspiring and it's a, a big driver in kind of where I aspire to go on YouTube is the ability to one day be able to upload high quality and consistent daily uploads at some point. In terms of something like short form like TikTok or Instagram, I think I can do it. Side note, what I was staring at in the last clip is this right here. Uh, it looks like my wheels are uh, taking a shit on me. This was not me. If you've been watching the channel for enough time, you would have known I bought this car and the 
brake calipers were spray painted over. The M logos are spray painted over. The owner before me just absolutely destroyed these wheels. Still got them PS4Ss though, on deck, always. This obviously isn't the most exciting or hilarious video that you've probably ever seen from me, but sometimes I just wanna be transparent with what's on my mind and what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling and I don't wanna fake it. That's the last thing I wanna do. I wanna make sure I'm being authentic with everything I do. I told my friend the other night that for me to upload on this Friday, I would stay up late tonight editing this video to get it out the next day, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I tried to film a video last night and it didn't go very well, so that's kinda of why I'm gathering clips right now to get an upload out for Friday. And in the future, I want to be better at planning my time to make sure that I can get some consistent high quality M240, BMW, life, everything content. At the end of the day, the last thing that I would want to do is look back on years of my life and regret not doing something. And that's exactly how I've always felt about YouTube. And I look back on even time now, if I would have dedicated myself two years ago when I had started uploading content when I had first purchased this car, I think to myself how different things might be. But at the end of the day, you can't change those kind of decisions. So why stress about the things I can't control? But what I can control is how I move forward. And that's exactly what I plan to change. Overall, I want to be as consistent as possible. That's why I'm gonna try and push myself to do the daily uploads on TikTok and then still getting the videos out every Friday at 3 p.m. And yeah, I am enjoying life right now. I'm really trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and do things when I tell myself I'm gonna do them. And I think that's just part of being 22. So let's see where it goes from here. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Kevin, you're gonna get the smoke put on you, so you best watch out. Just a fucking scam. <laughs> Children. Man, fuck them kids, bro. Okay. <laughs>